Good evening. Uh, want to make one of my uh, YouTube podcast sports video pertaining to Michael Jordan and LeBron James. Uh, I'm about to give some more facts when it comes to Jordan. Why? Why is not close? Matter of fact, there's no player in this league today. This generation is close to Jordan. Like I say, and, and, Le and that's especially LeBron James with his overrated legacy that he has. I'm gonna prove this, and I'm and I ask this question to anybody, and I, and I challenge all those professional uh, uh, sports analysts like Shannon Sharp, Colin Coward, Nick Wright, all them jokers, to uh, tell me. Uh, ask, I asked them the question, let them tell it, uh, telling themselves, and I will expose them and expose LeBron more. Tell me the last time a scoring champion won the MVP, Finals MVP, scoring title, led the playoffs in scoring. Led the finals in scoring, made all NBA defensive first team, made all NBA first team in, a, in, in one season. Tell me the last time that any of these, and I'm, I'm going to name players Kevin Durant, former MVP, former finals MVP, scores, multiple scoring champions. LeBron James, former finals MVP, scoring champ, former scoring champion. Uh, I can keep going on and on. Steph Curry, finals, uh, uh, he never won Finals MVP, but he's a uh, former MVP, scoring champion, fourth of championships. Russell Westbrook, scoring champion, uh, uh, former MVP, he never won a championship, of course. James Harden, scoring champion, F former uh, li uh, the, the reigning league MVP. When we keep going, come on, Anthony, uh, scoring champion. When we keep going, Dwayne Wade, scoring champion, former Finals MVP. All these dudes are true super, are superstars and, for, and for our first battle hall of famers that I just named. Now tell me if any of them did what Michael Jordan just did what I just said. Finals MVP, scoring champion, league MVP, all NBA first team defense, all NBA first team championship, led the playoffs in scoring, led regular season scoring, led finals in scoring, all in one season. Tell me who did that today's league. It makes a bad. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make it more. I'm gonna make the insult to injury. To make the sad part about it is, this era is easy for these cats to score to do more. It was harder back then with the hand checker rules and the time that they had, the physicality, and then the bell, the truth centers that they had back then. Tell me, tell me when. I can tell you, none of these cats never did it. John got more scoring titles than every last one of these dudes I just named combined, and he missed five years. He retired twice. That's the embarrassing part. These dudes playing a whole career. And they all and they and, and all of them done something that Jordan they done. Exceptional come out and he didn't even made it to the NBA Finals. All of them got at least one finals losses. Michael Jordan never lost in the finals. What what brings me to the big picture? Michael Jordan done that four times. One MVP, finals MVP, scoring champion, led the playoffs in scoring. Led the finals in scoring, all NBA first team, all NBA first team defense, all in one season. Jordan did it four times, 91, 92, 96, and 98. If you don't believe me, Google it. But the media don't tell you that stuff because they want to bamboozle. They try to tell you they want you to hear. Like I say, the media to me is like fake preachers that lead their flock astray. And they lead the LeBron fans astray instead of looking at facts. And they just too biased based on their feelings, living in the moment instead of reality. These are facts that I'm giving you. Nobody, that's how good Michael Jordan was. You don't know how hard it was to win MVPs in that league back then. This dude had to go up against when he came to the league. Bird. A prime Moses Malone, a prime Dr. J. He then he had to go against Charles Barkley when they got in that prime. He had to go against. He had to go against a prime bird. He had to go against Mikael. He had to go against. I can keep going. Isaiah Thomas. He had to go against a prime Magic. He had to go against Kareem. And then when they, they, they all left, he had to go against Dave Ross. And when Shaq came in the league, you had Alonzo Mourning. They had Tim Hardaway. You had Penny Hardaway, who to me was better than LeBron James before he blew out his knees. That, that dude was scary, dude. He was sick. He just wasn't big as LeBron, but he was just taller. He was 6'9", and had, he was way more skilled than LeBron. He just wasn't stronger than LeBron. But he was way more skilled than LeBron. Offensively, and he was just a good of a passer. And had a jumper out of his world better than LeBron. And had a sick post-up game, something LeBron don't really have. He don't have a true post-up game. These facts that I'm giving you. This is what Jordan was doing that against. He was doing that against real. He was doing that in, in, in the real NBA. 
you got a lot of great one-on-one -on -one nasty players. Need these guys more. LA they shoot threes, but the NBA was better back then. These guys knew the game more than a lot of these guys do now. Some of these dudes just stuff their stats, and this record's easy to break now because the, the hand, you can't hand check and play real defense. Mike was doing this when, he, when it was when it was hard, and when you was, you was getting beat up coming down the lane. That's how good this dude was. And, and, and averaged 38 times, eight times. LeBron averaged 30 once in a season without the hand checking rule. So you do the math. So all this LeBron needed, they need to take that LeBron fans and LeBron and all them analysts need to take that, take that crap, try and compare it and shove it. The dude's not better than Kobe, and Kobe don't need a mic level. Like I said again, Mike didn't take them years off. The dude, the dude, oh, Guy Baskin's godson. Feel me? Oh, Guy Baskin's so godson. They can, they can take that and shove it. That's all I want to say. Everybody have a nice day. Oh, Guy Baskin.